Yeah, yesterday, last year was a ton of fun. It was great, great experience. The guys all had a good time, but it's done. And now it's a memory and we need to uh, look at those things, uh, you know, after our career is done and say, boy, that was a fun time. But this year is a new chapter, a new book, and uh, hopefully we can learn from some of the mistakes and successes from last year. But we're really treating this as a new year uh, completely on its own and with an understanding that's a, uh, it is going to be something where teams are going to be coming after us. We can't sneak up on anybody this year, and uh, we have to put in a lot of work to prepare. Well, overall defensively, I think is one thing. We need to uh, continue to get better there. I think ball screen defense is going to be a key for us. I think defensive rebounding is going to be a huge key for us. Uh, the idea of blocking out and then pursuing the basketball and making sure uh, we chase down those things. Offensively, uh, trying to cut down the turnovers and then always trying to increase percentages uh, for shooting the basketball and then limiting turnovers. Yeah, scheduling is brutal right now, especially if we're trying to get name teams where the fans get really excited and get them in the Bartow Arena. It's uh, near impossible right now. And so we're going to keep uh, making calls, begging, pleading, you know, trying to get people in here. Uh, but it's something that um, is difficult. And early on in my career, it was a little bit easier because everybody wanted to play us. And uh, now that we have a little bit more of a foundation built here, I think there's a, it's been nice. I mean, there's a great level of respect for what we're doing, but it does make it difficult for scheduling. I mean, Hasfeld's kind of taken on a, a life of its own. It's, I will say that uh, it was important going into this year that we uh, keep the name but rebrand the product. You know, the product I felt like was uh, becoming a little bit monotonous, so there will certainly be some elements that are the same, but we're really trying to give it a different feel, a different flair, and I think to this point we're, we've done that. And so I'm excited for people to come out and see that it is still Hasfeld, but it's a whole different uh, product, and I think it's going to be pretty exciting. I think being on the green on the center of campus in the middle of, of campus I think is important, especially during homecoming week uh, and the excitement around uh, the campus this week. So again, I think it's the biggest thing is it's new, it's fresh, and uh, it's an exciting start to this season. We got to leave last year. Last year was that um, this is a new year. We just got to come in and work harder than we did last year because last year we was uh, the hunter. Now we're the hunted. Now we got to work extra hard because people are going to be coming at us. We know just knowing that um, going into every game that we're going to get everybody best shot. Uh, a game, we're just going to have to come out and play. Just being ready to go go and um, attack people. Just go go out and go at it next 100%. And um, just go hard. Uh, know that we did have a good weekend or a good week at the end of the year, but uh, we didn't have the season we wanted to have. But we have the pieces coming back to hopefully have a good year and hopefully repeat and do it again. Um, it's a, a different mindset that we have to have than being an underdog and kind of sneaking up on people. So it's been something that they've preached and that we do have to focus on. And even more so with the year starting, know that we have to go out and be hungrier than we were last year. We were able to really focus in this summer and we didn't have the opportunity to go to Spain, but we were able to follow the coach's program and work on what we needed to work on to get better to be prepared for this first day of practice.